Good morning, guys. I am really zoomed in, but I know how to zoom out. Can I put the camera like here on the camera stand? How do they do this? Guys, I wasn't built for the vlog life. I've got to learn a lot. Right, so this is my outfit. I'm gonna wait until Elle's here and I'll get her to do like a shot of me. Um, oh yeah, we are. So this is a vlog uh, with me and I'm gonna be vlogging. Guys, this is doing my head in. Wow, I am literally wearing heels as well. Um, so this morning we are going to start driving in a sec over to Leeds. Um, I'm going to be on channel four. I'm gonna be on Steph's lunchbox today or tomorrow. I don't think they pre-record, I think it is live TV. However, this vlog will be out after I've been on there. We might be able to add some clips somewhere of me on there. I'm not sure if we will be able to do that. Yeah, anyway, so we're going to vlog the day and we, it, it's on channel four so we'll re kind of record what we can if they let us record like being in the studio as such ah we have lighting i wonder how you actually put this on here because this is the one for that isn't it let me swing that this way aha oh yeah, so I'm going to Steph's lunchbox. Um, she's going to be talking about my business and stuff um, and asking me loads of questions. They actually reached out to us earlier this week, so it is really um, a last minute. Am I nervous? Truthfully, I am one of those people who will get nervous, like, really last minute. Like, I will be nervous literally two seconds before going on. Right now, I'm kind of, like, excited. I'm intrigued. I really want to film what I can for you guys in their studio and stuff. Um, I'm sure we can record a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to record a lot um, because it's obviously private and personal. But we'll see what we can record. Um, I'll try and do a quick outfit check for you guys. So... I have to wear a cardigan so I'm sure this dress is see-through. Look at the belly button. And then I've even got like a pair of heels on. I've even got a pair of heels on. Oh my god, wow. I only just realised that. I've got like a tan on the back of my ankle. Which I don't think anyone is going to be able to no. Last anyway, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for Elle and then we are gonna go. Um, I need to make sure I bring all the correct camera equipment with me um, and we'll let you know how the day gets on, so yeah. This is the outfit of the day. Bumper's looking cute. <laughs> Some background music. <laughs> If I wasn't wearing a card, you'd be able to see me knickers. Right, we're gonna go now. Bye, Anne. Bye, Anne. Slay. Bye, guys. See you on the other side. Um. So, this is not good. Meg is ju just chilling there. Any more nervous or? No, I'm. What I will be like last minute nervous. I'm still. I'm just chilling. I'm excited. I'm quite excited just to go meet people and like be. Five young, like, hey, queen, hey. to everyone. Hey, hey. <laughs> mm. In here, we have a very big surprise the mini eyelash vending machine. Imagine if it doesn't work on live TV. <sighs> Ellie, let's do a what's in your tote bag. Oh, I've only just filled it up now. There's still loads to go in it. Oh, okay. Let's see what else she's getting. Oh, she brought snacks. <laughs> and you said she wasn't going to bring a bag in. Okay, but right. Um, no. Okay. I think that's everything. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Can hide the camera in here. <gasps> I've got um. Oh, here's someone. I'm quick. I've got. I've got my pins. <laughs> I've got some straws. A little longer than a few minutes later. So Meg has gone now to do some pre-records. So I'm just sat in this little room by myself. I should be back soon though. So I think there's a little TV just over there. You can see it. So if I can get it on there, I'll show you guys. Bye. <laughs> 
Okay, so basically we had to go in there and like they panned the camera and we were all sat on the sofa and like the camera pans for like 30 seconds and you can imagine how long 30 seconds is and you've got to stare into this camera and just smile. And the entire time I was sat there thinking this is going to be like shown on live TV at 20 past one and all the girls can be in their lunch laughing because I'm just like this. <laughs> like this is the camera, you're like this. <laughs> And then you're aching and you're like, <laughs> like that. Um, but yeah, slay everyone. You excited? <laughs> We're gonna go and get some food after. Um, but we can't really record much, but we'll definitely record getting some food and just summary. Um, will you be able to record a little bit on the TV? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was gonna try and record a little bit on the TV. I am um, pooping. Mm, I'm like in the middle. <sighs> Here I come. Oh, here I come. Peggy started her eyelash business with just £300. It's now worth millions. Thanks so much for coming in because it, it's such inspirational stories. Meggy, I want to start with you because you you um, saw a, a, a niche in the market, didn't you? you... Yeah, so I lived abroad and they didn't have like big lashes. So I... Yes, Maggie! <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it, I ended up doing it on social media and it ended up blowing up. So I actually moved back from Spain to England to pursue my business. Yeah, because you were working a, in a bar out in Spain, yeah. weren't you? And you just noticed that there weren't the lashes there. So yeah. then how, tell us about setting up the business. Like, how did you, how, how do you go about doing that? Um, so a lot of research online. And I think the main focus on businesses nowadays is like social media. So I just focused on social media and kept consistent and it just went from there. Yeah, and then how did you know, in terms of finding the lashes and all that, how did you go about that? Was that hard? Um, it was hard at the beginning, sourcing it, but once you know how to do it, it's just like a walk in the park. Right, and then from that, as your business has grown, what's that been like? Because sometimes people might have a good business idea, they start selling to their mates or whatever, then it goes bigger on social media, but then it goes to a next level and that changes the whole operation, doesn't it? It is crazy. Like, you just, one minute, you're just sitting at home packing orders. Next, I've got an office with 15 members of staff and I'm trying to run around and trying to be a mom. And it's it's just amazing, like, the growth, really. It's, it's yeah. incredible. And you've got um, them in vending machines now as well. Yeah, the vending machines I absolutely love. So we've got 24 around the UK. Soon to be 25 next week when I head down to Cardiff. Yeah. And um, we're planning on putting one in Leeds in a couple of weeks. And we're planning at the end of the year to have 50 plus vending machines yeah. and just have like makeup accessible and easy and affordable for everyone. And you started this with 300 quid. Yes, and it's Queen. Now worth millions. Yeah. And you're having your second child. Yes, luckily a girl. I have a little boy at home. Yeah. Um, and now I'm having a little girl as well. What, what would you, I mean, you're incredible. What would your advice be to anyone out there who's thinking I'd like to set up a business? Just do it, take the risk and then be consistent with it. It's not going to happen overnight, but consistency is just the way forward with it. Social media, just keep going until you find where yeah, you're going. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you so much for coming in. It's been lovely to chat to you all. Ellie's verdict. What did you think? 10-10. It was good. Yes. Okay. It was good. That went a lot better than I thought it would. Uh, when I was sitting there thinking, don't stutter. But she asked completely different questions to what I thought. And that was what made it better, honestly. And she's so lovely. And everyone in there was so lovely, but yeah, this has been a wild experience, Queens. <laughs> it is freezing, it is windy, it's cold, it's miserable. I'm starving. Right, we're gonna get the food and we're gonna eat in the car. I'm joking, I'm not. Um, but we are gonna get food. We're not gonna take the camera in because we're gonna be talking about some really serious stuff. Like, how far can you dip your chip in your KFC gravy? But I'll tell you how it was after. What are you having? KFC. She was going to get a Burger King, but it's over the bridge. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Ellie, don't cry. <laughs> Ellie, don't cry. <laughs>
I make out of wheat trues. What is wheat trues? Oh, have you not heard of it? It's like a fast food. Nice. Um, you can get like, ah, oh, you might like it. You can get like tortilla <laughs> chips and stuff. No, Waitrose is an expensive shop. Oh, oh bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. So we had our KF. And yours has a hair in it. Thank you. Mine was good. That's good. And then we got, um, we got some bits for the journey back. Show you a little haul. Okay. Ellie's in an element. You'd be so good, like a snack haul. I got some... What are you trying to say that I eat loads? No, you always have good snacks. I got some cleavers. DJ, if you're some... watching this, no, you can't have any. Bacon. I'd love to say DJ was crying because I was going. Uh, but no, it's because he gave me a packet of what's it's And I said no at half seven in the morning. Wheat crunchies. And then Meg got a chocolate bar and they were two for two. So I just got a caramel, but I'm not going to eat this now. Got Kit Kat Chunky. By the way, guys, I don't really eat these. I haven't ate one. <laughs> Yeah, that has really confused me because I've never seen you eat one of them. And I got a extra large fruit shoot. I didn't get a drink. I got crisps instead. Anyway, we have got... We expect to be at the office for... What? It's a bit stuck, this. At this time. <coughs> Fakey. Fakey! <coughs> there we go. Um, so we've got a bit of a journey to go, so yeah. Bye! 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 <laughs> Selay! <laughs> early the next morning <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys and i really hope you enjoyed my little tv appearance of me briefly speaking about my business over on steph's pat lunch um it was a great experience and it was something completely different and it was nice just to speak about um my business and my success but also amazing way to maybe inspire others and hopefully if you guys have watched the full thing uh, you might be inspired to start your own business as well so yeah slay Thank you.